Hi guys, welcome everyone. Creative Lori here. If you're new to my channel, I'm a home stager and I like to share with you all my decor hauls from my own home, my home staging business, my DIYs and projects, staging tutorials, and I like to do a lot of challenges that fellow YouTubers present. So today is just that. Arlen from Arlen's Country Craft Corner has presented and is hosting a challenge that is called the Cozy Corner Challenge. Now, it doesn't have to be in a corner. It's just something like a, a vignette that could be in a corner, on your mantle, maybe on, you know, like um, your TV stand, something that's just a vignette. So what I did here, I'll go over everything. Um, I've never liked my fireplace and it's something I would love to change. <laughs> so um, I always have a challenge with it because the mantle is so very skinny, very narrow, the depth. So, but I actually had, um, this worked for me. So you guys saw me haul this big clock that I got from Goodwill quite a few months ago. Um, I will link that video at the end of this video. And I just simply brushed um, some acrylic paint across it. And I didn't even have to distress it because I felt like it gave a distressed look once I painted it. Excuse the walls. Um, there's a little scratch there. There's a couple scuff marks. I painted these walls about four, almost 14 years ago when I first moved into this house when it was new. And it's due for a painting. Um, and I keep saying that, but one day I will definitely paint this wall and refresh it. <laughs> so over here, I have um, these little galvanized buckets that I got from the Dollar Tree. And they have um, jute twine around them. And they were a dollar each. I did a DIY where I put some jute twine behind it and looped it so that you can hang them on the wall. And it has like this, they sell them at Pottery Barn. And I love that French market um, place like where they sell flowers. And that's sort of what my original thought was when I made these. So I just put some um, fern in them and I had um, some hyacinth from the Dollar Tree. I think I put two bunches in there. And then the burlap peonies. I love it. For It was 62 cents at Hobby Lobby on clearance in the craft section in case you guys want to get some. <laughs> I should have got more. Um, and then these little flags I got from the 99 cent store. You saw my patriotic haul from the 99 cent store. But the Dollar Tree also sells them. I did... Um, stained them with coffee and um, if you can see it's just a faint difference um, it looks a little bit dingier than the white hyacinth in front of it if I put a new flag next to it you can see the difference so I kind of liked it um, I did most of my flags that way so I have another one flanking on the other side and then in the middle so they're pretty much the same I think that I've left these up for quite a few months because I really liked them. Um, there was a mirror here, but I did switch that out for this Goodwill clock that I got. Then here on my very um, narrow um, mantle, <laughs> I had bought these little red, white, and blue mason jars that were from the 99 cent store. And they have like a little um, star cut out and as you can see and they were just 99 cents I just had to clean the glue off of the star which it was really hard to get off but I still need to um, get more off I think anyways I loved the colors of the red it wasn't a bright red and I loved the blue it wasn't a royal blue then I put the Hobby Lobby um, hydrangea made out of burlap, which I love. I, I think I'm going to try to go back and see if they have any more left. These were also 62 cents. Then down below, I have that burlap bunting that my dad bought for me, which was so sweet. Um, 
I've always wanted a bunting and I should have bought another one, but if I wanted another one, I know he wanted to pay for it and I didn't want him to pay for it. So, um, one was enough at the time, <laughs> but, um, and in fact, I'm not sure I even need another one, but I just think they're so, I don't know. They remind me of like an old fashioned, you know, 4th of July. And I always make this reference and so does David Lane. To Pollyanna that's a Disney movie and it's so cute you guys I watch it every 4th of July and these buntings remind me of that all the old-fashioned stuff uh, reminds me of this movie so go watch that movie and go check out Davida Lane also she has a wonderful channel um, so I have this burlap like I said bunting and look at it's just so nicely made I couldn't have made it um, for the price. It was $7.88, I believe. And I like that it's not a bright red or bright blue and that it's not white, that it's burlap. I love that because I love burlap. So down below I have, um, it's like a little park bench setting, like a park, I guess you could say. Um, I have a little antique park bench and, um, let me get down on the floor and I'll get a little closer. So I had a little fireplace um, fire screen up here and it's really for fall and winter and I always thought of I wanted something else right here. So my dad had bought this in Nevada, this little park bench. It is, I'm not sure if it's antique, but it's definitely vintage and I had to sand it a little bit, but um, in the back it had like iron, like the, the legs of it. And it was um, a bunch of, I guess, safari animals, lions and tigers and elephants. It's really cute. Um, but I didn't want that theme for this. So I just took some poster board and some Dollar Tree um, contact paper and just hot glued it to the back so you couldn't see that. So then on here, um, Arlen had three stipulations for this challenge. You had to have a bow, you had to have some floral, and you had to have a sign or plaque. So I put this little plaque on here and it says, um, land of the free because of the brave. Isn't that the truth? So I love that it looks vintage and like plank board. I just love that. So, okay, sorry, there was a glare. And this was 99 cents at the 99 cent store. And so that's my sign. On the bench, I feel like, you know, when you go to the park, you have a picnic. And um, I just put this little pail that I had gotten from Ikea and put hot glued a little rope handle on it. And then put a little picnic napkin in there from the 99 cent store. And I put two wooden apples. They're salt and pepper shakers actually. Well, I'm sorry, one's a apple and one's a pear. And I got those for free. And then those little biscuits that are supposed to look like bread <laughs> um, are um, lady fingers that I got the 99 cent store. I'm gonna be Mod Podging those so that um, they stay the way they are, and the cats are trying to lick them, so I got, <laughs> they're going to take off with them. <laughs> um, and then I have a little mason jar here, a mini mason jar with a little straw. So they have a little picnic ready here on the park bench, because that's what I do too. I, I go to the park and I have a little picnic. And next to... The park bench is this little galvanized bucket with a topiary in it. And I had made some handmade fireworks for it. But first, um, you guys remember this topiary. I did a, a Craigslist haul and I got a bunch of things for $20. It was so incredible to me. And this was one of the things that I got. And I haven't used it in my home staging business yet. So I put it next to the park bench in a galvanized bucket. The bucket is from the 99 cent store. The hydrangeas around it are from the Dollar Tree and I put three bunches. And then the fireworks, 
are just made of toilet paper and paper towel rolls. So I'm not sure if it really warrants for DIY for that because it's really easy. <laughs> All you do is hot glue the burlap around the roll. Then you, I just took some Dollar Tree ribbon to make the cone um, tip and hot glued that. I stuffed the paper towel roll with some um, paper that I get from Amazon. I get a ton of paper um, stuffed in my orders, so I always save it and wrap presents with. But I did some research, and the fireworks done back in the day, they would put a little bit of paper or rags at the end so they would ignite. And then I have them, um, I have them on, you can probably see this one a little better. You know, when we use, um, floral arrangements and we take the flowers off, <laughs> I always save these sticks because they're nicely made. And so I use that for the stem of the firework and I just stuck it in here. And that worked for those. This one is a large stem flower that I just took the flower off of. And that's a paper towel roll. And then I just put a band of the Dollar Tree ribbon on the bottom and the top and then made the cone. And then the paper at the bottom. I think that looks kind of cute. It might look a little busy, but I actually really like it. I think the little um, picnic basket is adorable. I love picnics. And then over here is something that's supposed to mimic like a street lantern um, from back in the day, like um, in the, hmm, I guess, early 1900s. They still had gas uh, lanterns. And um, this was a cast iron um, candlestick holder that I had bought. I think I paid 10 or $20. I don't remember. It's literally been about 13 years ago. And it was black. And then I gloss, um, put gloss black on it. And I hated it. Then I recently put some um, interior white paint. And I think it turned out really beautiful. You can see all the detail. Now the bow is kind of covering all of the middle section. But I think you kind of get the idea that it looks, it's supposed to look like a little street lantern next to the park bench. And so that's my bow. And then I had to put, because this um, candlestick holder had a prong in the middle, so I had to put some styrofoam in the middle and then wrap it with burlap ribbon underneath that lantern. That lantern I got for free. So, hope that mimics kind of, I had a bigger lantern that really looked like a street lantern, but it was so rusty and I didn't feel like cleaning it because I was really short on time. And this ribbon also mimics my short on time because, or bow, um, it was a pre-bought bow, the burlap portion. It was um, from Hobby Lobby and after fall sale and it was 80 cents, I believe. And then I just added um, that, I love this ribbon. It is um, kind of like a canvas ticking with the blue stripes on it. I didn't want to cut it, so I just kind of fed it through and looped it. And I did cut one piece for that loop. But I know it's not the funky bow, and I, I, I'm going to be doing one. I just didn't have time for this one. And I really kind of like it, but I definitely want to try a funky bow. I just hadn't had time. So to hide my little mishaps or where I fed it through the bow, I just put some of the floral from the Dollar Tree. It's one stem's worth. And that is it, guys. I hope you liked this. Because to me, it looks like a little Pollyanna scene. Um, they have, in the movie, they have um, a 4th of July celebration. And um, Pollyanna, she's one of my favorite actors. I don't know her name, but she pa played in The Parent Trap. And, um, which is also another my one of my favorites. But they are at this festival for 4th of July. And there's all this food and park benches and gazebos and buntings everywhere. And... 
it's so cute and she's like eating corn on the cob and huge slices of cake and um what else ice cream watermelon she's just eating a ton of food and then she ends up getting sick but <laughs> so you see her going to all these different stands and she's a, the main character of the movie it is such a cute and sweet movie so this really reminds me of that movie which i love and I know Davida likes it too. Um, go check out the movie and also Davida's channel. And definitely Arlen's Country Craft Corners channel. She has a wonderful, wonderful channel. So inspirational. All her and Davida and Kim from Sweet Crazy. Sweet Crazy. Sweet Daisy Creation. <laughs> Sorry, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> I will link all their channels down below. I'm sorry, guys. I'm kind of tired. I've been, oh, it's been a long few weeks. So I hope you guys liked this. I think it turned out really sweet. I really hope my cats leave it alone. I think they will. I just need to mod podge the um, bread or the little lady fingers there in my picnic basket. And I think they'll leave it alone. So this is it, guys. Go check out everyone else. And I hope you liked what I did. Okay, guys, have a good one. And leave any comments down below. You know I love your comments, but I'm sorry I haven't been getting back to you all in a very timely manner. Um, but I am getting a little more free time, so I will start doing that. All right, guys, I will talk to you all later. Bye.